Hello, dear friends. At the heart of British history, amidst luxury and mystery, one name shines forth, Queen Elizabeth II. Her majestic presence and unfathomable wealth are shrouded in mystical secrets and majestic traditions. On this fascinating journey, we will immerse ourselves in the whirlwind of her life, encounter a sophistication that takes the soul away, and feel the power inherent in a true queen. Prepare to witness something truly breathtaking as the veil of luxury lifts and reality mingles with fairy tales. Welcome to a world where royal treasures and nobility come Come alive in all their splendor. We invite you to dive into a story that shines brighter than the most precious jewels. Are you ready? Then here we go. In the annals of history, Queen Elizabeth II's journey to unimaginable wealth and worldwide recognition is a gripping story of determination, strategic decisions, and unwavering commitment. Born in 1926, she ascended the throne in 1952, laying the foundation for her extraordinary financial empire. At the heart of the Queen's wealth is the crown's 14 billion pounds inheritance, which includes prime real estate, historic historic castles and coastal estates. The annual profits from this portfolio add significantly to her fortune. In addition to her sovereign responsibilities, the Queen's business acumen and investments have helped to further grow her wealth. Her art collections, including masterpieces worth millions and racehorses of considerable value, are evidence of her entrepreneurial vision. The Duchy of Lancaster, worth more than 500 million pounds, provides the Queen with a steady income. This inheritance includes extensive land, commercial estates, and a diverse investment portfolio. The cultural and tourist attraction of the British monarchy also increases the Queen's wealth. Palaces such as Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle generate considerable income from ticket sales, merchandise, and tourist activities. Although her exact fortune has not been disclosed, experts estimate Queen Elizabeth II's wealth to be in the billions of dollars. Her financial success reflects her commitment to duty and to preserving the greatness of the monarchy. Queen Elizabeth II's journey from humble beginnings to owning one of the largest fortunes in the world has inspired generations. Her story is one of public service, strategic investment, investment, and an unwavering commitment to royal excellence. As we conclude this chapter of Queen Elizabeth II's extraordinary life, we turn our attention to another facet of her luxurious lifestyle, her remarkable car collection. This prestigious car collection, preserved among her vast wealth, demonstrates not only elegance and luxury, but also a deeply rooted passion for automotive excellence. Among the jewels of the Queen's car collection is the Bentley State Limousine. Created especially for her Golden Jubilee in 2002, this majestic car exudes regal splendor. The 10 million pounds Bentley State Limousine features handcrafted detailing, including a gilt grille and the royal coat of arms. Its luxurious interior features sumptuous leather upholstery, plush carpeting, and a host of state-of-the-art technology to ensure the monarch's comfortable and safe ride. Another prized item in Her Majesty's collection is the Rolls-Royce Phantom 4. This bespoke car, which was made in 1950, costs around 3 million pounds. With its exquisite design, the Phantom 4 combines classic charm with timeless elegance. Its powerful engine and advanced suspension ensure a smooth and effortless driving experience that meets the Queen's exacting tastes. The interior is a showcase of unparalleled luxury, handcrafted woodwork, sumptuous leather seats, and state-of-the-art amenities. The splendor is complemented by a rare Jaguar Daimler 66 LWB. Priced at over £1 million, this exceptional car is an example of British automotive excellence. The Daimler 66 LWB features an elegant and unique design that reflects the essence of timeless sophistication. Its powerful V12 engine provides unparalleled paralleled power, and its meticulously crafted interior showcases exquisite leather upholstery, polished wood accents, and a host of custom-made elements that epitomize the Queen's discerning style. The acquisition of these exceptional automobiles often involved complex processes. Involving renowned manufacturers renowned for their craftsmanship and attention to detail, the Queen's cars were carefully tailored to her preferences. Every aspect, from the selection of the finest materials to the incorporation of special features, was carefully considered to create a truly individual and regal driving experience. In this extraordinary automotive collection, we witness the convergence of royal prestige and automotive excellence. The Queen's cars stand as testaments to her unrivaled taste and unwavering pursuit of luxury. They are not merely modes of transportation, but living legends that exemplify the opulence and refinement that have come to define the incomparable Queen Elizabeth II. With an introduction to Queen Elizabeth II's lavish lifestyle, we move on to consider her magnificent estates. Set in the British countryside, these stately residences embody the essence of regal sophistication, reflecting the Queen's refined taste and unwavering commitment to tradition and heritage. One of the gems in the Queen's real estate portfolio is the esteemed Balmoral Castle, set amidst the picturesque scenery of Aberdeenshire, Scotland. Purchased by the royal family in 1852, this historic estate is a testament to the Queen's deep connection to the rugged beauty of the Scottish Highlands. With an estimated value of over £100 million, Balmoral Castle displays a harmonious blend of Victorian architecture and traditional Scottish design. The 
castle's facade, adorned with turrets and pinnacles, radiates a sense of timeless grandeur. Its meticulously manicured gardens and expansive grounds offer breathtaking views of rolling hills, ancient forests, and serene lakes. Inside, the luxurious interior includes many regal reception rooms, each decorated with priceless works of art, antique furniture, and ornate chandeliers. Luxurious bedrooms create an atmosphere of comfort and elegance, while the expansive dining rooms offer the perfect setting for lavish banquets and royal gatherings. The attention to detail at Balmoral Castle is astounding. Every element, from the hand-carved woodwork to the elaborately woven tapestries, speaks of exquisite craftsmanship. The use of noble materials such as mahogany, marble, and silk further enhances the regal atmosphere. It is in these hallowed halls that the queen finds solace and connection with the rich tapestry of British history. Another jewel in the empire of the queen's property is Sandringham House, an idyllic country estate located in the Norfolk countryside. Purchased by the royal family in 1862, this magnificent estate holds a special place in the queen's heart as the childhood home of her father, King George VI. Valued at more than 50 million pounds, Sandringham House exemplifies the queen's love of classical English architecture and horticulture. Upon approaching the estate, visitors are greeted by an impressive Georgian facade with symmetrical design and stately proportions. The expansive grounds, which include spacious gardens, woodlands, and a serene lake, serve as a tranquil retreat for the queen and her family. The interior of Sandringham House is equally enchanting. Elegant drawing rooms, a magnificent library, and a grand ballroom decorated with crystal chandeliers and intricate plaster carvings. The bedrooms at Sandringham House offer a glimpse into the queen's personal style, showcasing a harmonious blend of comfort and elegance. Each room is meticulously furnished with plush furniture, fine linens, and antiques reflecting the estate's rich history. The queen's private suite is a secluded place decorated with cherished family heirlooms and works of art, creating an atmosphere of warmth and familiarity. Balmoral Castle and Sandringham House serve as private sanctuaries for the queen and her family, offering respite from having to perform royal duties. These prestigious estates represent the quintessential refined lifestyle, preserving a sense of heritage and tradition, and serving as a backdrop for intimate family gatherings and state events. In these hallowed halls and expansive grounds, Queen Elizabeth II finds solace and connection to her country's rich past. Through her visionary acquisitions and unwavering commitment to preserving these historic residences, she continues to embody the spirit of regal grandeur and provide a lasting legacy for future generations. Amidst the grandeur of Queen Elizabeth II's lifestyle, her collection of exquisite jewelry serves as a dazzling testament to her regal presence and impeccable taste. Each piece in her treasury tells a different story, reflecting not only the Queen's personal style but also the rich heritage of the British monarchy. At the heart of her collection is the famous Cullinan Diamond, an unparalleled gemstone of extraordinary beauty. This magnificent stone, weighing 106 carats, was discovered in South Africa in 1905, transformed into several exquisite pieces, including the Cullinan worst in the second diamonds, this gem, owned by the queen, adds immeasurable value to her collection. Cullinan I, also known as the Great Star of Africa, adorns the sovereign's scepter and cross, while Cullinan II, known as the Little Star of Africa, adorns the imperial state crown. These historic diamonds, valued at 400 million pounds, symbolize the long reign of Queen Elizabeth II. Another jewel in the queen's collection is the magnificent Cochinor Diamond. This legendary gem weighing 105.6 carats has a prominent place in royal history. Originally from India, Koh i Noor was presented to Queen Victoria and subsequently became part of the British crown jewels. Its captivating beauty is reflected in the Queen's coronation crown, where it shines with regal brilliance. The value of the Cochinor diamond is considered incalculable because of its historical significance and irreplaceability. Among the Queen's precious jewelry is the stunning Cambridge Lover's Knot Tiara, an iconic piece of jewelry that exemplifies timeless elegance. Originally created in 1914 for Queen Mary, this diamond and pearl tiara features features a striking design of intertwined arches topped with dangling pearls. Passed down through the generations, it became a favorite for Princess Diana, who wore it on numerous occasions. The estimated value of this exquisite tiara exceeds 10 million pounds, making it a cherished piece in the Queen's collection. Queen's also includes the regal Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee Necklace, an extraordinary piece that embodies the rich history of the British monarchy. Created in honor of Queen Victoria's 60-year reign, this dazzling necklace is adorned with intricate details of diamonds and rubies. Its design pays tribute to the elegance and grandeur of the Victorian era. Valued at more than 20 million pounds, dollar XX million, this necklace represents a priceless link between the past and the present. These are just a few examples of Queen Elizabeth II's vast collection of jewelry, which includes countless breathtaking pieces acquired during her reign. Each jewel has its own unique story, whether it's a gift from a foreign dignitary, an heirloom passed down from generation to generation, or a symbol of national pride. In a tapestry of Queen Elizabeth II's extraordinary life, we 
we are immersed in the realm of her staggering wealth, stately estates, and captivating collection of jewels. From her early years to her longest monarchical reign, the Queen's journey was marked by incomparable opulence, strategic decisions, and unwavering devotion to duty. As we bid farewell, we invite you, dear viewers, to share your thoughts and impressions in the comments below. Did the story of Queen Elizabeth II capture your imagination? Have you been intrigued by her wealth and lifestyle? We'd love to hear your opinions and insights. If you found this journey through the Queen's life and wealth fascinating, don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel for even more exciting stories from around the world. Join us as we continue to uncover stories about the extraordinary individuals who have shaped our world. Thank you for joining us on this royal expedition. Until next time, may you find inspiration in the stories of those who have walked the path of power and wealth.